Alright, so in this problem, I have 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x is equal to 512. So to solve this problem, I'm going to first start by factoring out 4 to the power of x. So now I have 4 to the power of x times 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 512. Now I'm going to rewrite 1 plus 1 plus 1 as 4. So now I have 4 to the power of x times 4 is equal to 512. Now I'm going to divide both sides by 4. So then these two cancel out. And now I get 4 to the power of x is equal to 512. Actually, instead of doing that, I'm actually going to multiply these two. So if I have something in the form a to the power of m, times a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m plus n. So 4 to the power of x times 4 to the power of 1, that's going to equal 4 to the power of x plus 1, which is equal to 512. So now, I'm going to rewrite 512 as 2 to the power of 9. So I have 4 to the power of x plus 1 is equal to 2 to the power of 9. And 4 here, I can rewrite as 2 squared. So now I have 2 squared to the power of x plus 1 is equal to 2 to the power of 9. Now if I have something in form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 2 to the power of 2 to the power of x plus 1, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 2 times x plus 1, which is equal to 2 to the power of 9. Now if I distribute the 2, I get 2 to the power of 2x plus 2 is equal to 2 to the power of 9. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, m is 2x plus 2, and n is 9. So now I have 2x plus 2 is equal to 9. So to solve this, I can subtract 2 on both sides. These two cancel out. So I get 2 equal x equals 7. And if I divide both sides by 2, I get x is equal to 7 over 2. So now to check, I have 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x is equal to 512. So 4 to the power of 7 over 2, this is 4 to the power of 7, the square root of 4 to the power of 7. So if I plug in this to a calculator, I get that the square root of 4 to the power of 7 is 128. So I have 128 plus 128 plus 128 plus 128, which is equal to 512. So this is right. All right, so in this problem, I have 5 to the power of x plus 5 to the power of x plus 5 to the power of x plus 5 to the power of x is equal to 1,000. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by factoring out 5 to the power of x. So now I have 5 to the power of x times 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 1,000. Now 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 4. So I have 5 to the power of x times 4 is equal to 1,000. And now if I divide both sides by 4, these two cancel out, and I get 5 to the power of x is equal to 250. So now, I'm going to take the log on both sides. So now I have log 5 to the power of x is equal to log 250. And if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front. So now I have b times log a. So log 5 to the power of x, I can move x to the front. So now I have x times log 5 is equal to log of 250. Now, if I divide both sides by log 5, these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to log of 250 over log of 5.
now log of 250, I can rewrite that as log of 25 times 10. And if I have something in the form log a times b, this is going to equal log a plus log b. So log 25 times 10, that's going to equal log 25 plus log 10 over log 5. And this is equal to log 25 over log 5 plus log 10 over log 5. And log 25, that's log of 5 squared. So I have log of 5 squared. And remember, I can move this exponent to the front. So this is, gonna, this is the same thing as 2 log 5 over log 5 plus log 10, which is equal to 1 over log 5. So then these two cancel out. And now I get x is equal to 2 plus 1 over log 5. All right, so in this problem, I have 3 to the power of x squared over 9 to the power of x is equal to 27. So I'm first going to start by rewriting 9 as 3 squared and 27 as 3 cubed. So now I have 3 to the power of x squared over 3 squared to the power of x is equal to 3 to the power of 3. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m, to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 3 to the power of 2 to the power of x, that's going to be equal to 3 to the power of 2 times x, which is 3 to the power of 2x. This is equal to 3 to the power of 3. And now I can rewrite this as 3 to the power of x squared times 3 to the power of negative 2x is equal to 3 to the power of 3. And a to the power of m times a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m plus n. So this is going to equal 3 to the power of x squared minus 2x is equal to 3 to the power of 3. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m equals a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. So in this case, x squared minus 2x is equal to 3. So now to solve this, I'm going to subtract 3 on both sides. So then these two cancel out. So now I have x squared minus 2x minus 3 is equal to 0. And now to solve this, I'm going to use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is negative 2, and c is negative 3. So I have x is equal to negative of negative 2 plus or minus the square root of negative 2 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is negative 3. And I have this over 2a, so 2 times 1. So now this is equal to 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 plus 12 over 2, which is equal to 2 plus or minus the square root of 16 over 2, which is equal to 2 plus or minus 4 over 2. So now I have 2 plus 4 over 2 and 2 minus 4 over 2. So I'll get x is equal to 3 or negative 1. All right, so in this video, I'm going to solve the equation 3 to the power of x is equal to 15. So my only variable in this equation is x, so that's what I'm going to be solving for. And now for my solution. So let me first start by rewriting my equation down here. So 3 to the power of x is equal to 15. And 15, I can rewrite this as 3 times 5.
And now I'm going to take the log on both sides. So I get log of 3 to the power of x is equal to log of 3 times 5. And if I have something in form log a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So log of 3 to the power of x, this is equal to log of 3 plus log 5. And if I have something form log a to the power of b, I can move the b to the front, so I get b times log a. So log 3 to the power of x, I can move this to the front, and I get x times log 3 is equal to log 3 plus log 5. So now from here, I'm going to divide both sides by log 3. So for my left hand side, these two cancel out. And for my right hand side, I get x is equal to log 3 plus log 5 over log 3. And this is the same thing as log 3 over log 3 plus log 5 over log 3. So log 3 and log 3, these two cancel out. So I get x is equal to 1 plus log 5 over log 3. Now, log 5 is equal to 0 0.6990. And log 3 is equal to 0 0.4771. So this is going to equal 1 plus 0 0.6990 over 0 0.4771. <clears throat> now, 0 0.6990 over 0 0.4771 is equal to... 1.4851 and 1 plus 1.4851 is equal to 2.4851 so this is my value of x now make sure to subscribe and leave a like and thank you bye